you swashbuckling bastards, and welcome back to the Bastard Cast with me, JD, and Schultz, and Gordy. Yay! And da 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 We've got a new member of the Bastard Cast family. Well, the Bastard Cast family? Of the Bastard family. The, new Bastard. The utter bastard. That is Sonny. Oh, yeah. Yay. Sonny Evans, welcome. <laughs> thanks, no, got thanks. Round of applause. Everyone. I'm very good. Yep, yep, yep. Yay! Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. There he is. So, Sonny Evans, a lot of you will probably know as uh, the, the man behind Branberry Muffin. Um, if you're fans of his videos, good. If you're not, um, I could well go for a Branberry Muffin, actually. No, we're definitely fans, so we decided to ask Sonny to come on board with, with the bastards, and he uh, gratefully accepted. Yes. Yeah, he's probably <laughs> okay, regretting that's it. That's the only now. way you can accept an invitation <laughs> to a bastard family is gracefully. The only way to do it. So welcome aboard, mate. Welcome aboard. Yeah, thanks. Yay! Yeah, well, I, 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 am truly Yay. I am truly on it. You guys are you guys are awesome. The videos you put up is just it's just insane. It's just really it's it's insane. No, well, all sunny. Been... You're awesome. You're yeah, awesome. You, we're not you awesome. won't know this, but long long time ago, uh we were watching your videos and at that point. Um, there was a point months back where you actually had more subscribers than us, right? And we were looking at your channel <laughs> going, I wonder if we'll ever get big enough to ask that guy to come on board. Yeah, I do remember that, bastard. actually. That was a while yeah. ago. Then you bastards just... oh. got four times as big as and I then, did. Well, <laughs> well, we got well, very, very fortunate with a few videos and then we made it happen. We made yeah. it happen. I just saw yeah. all your subscribers like back in the day. I was like, what? How the Fuck! Did he get that many? Why haven't we got that many? And, I still don't know up until this point, really. I still don't know where the hell they came from. Really. <laughs> I still don't even know where half of ours came from. Well, we were three there. of them, Sonny. So excellent! We're glad to have you on board. Yeah, I'm it's, glad uh, to be on board. You've already started making videos for us. We had one on a couple of weeks ago for the um, the Left Behind video about last gen and new gen yeah. and at that point sonny you didn't have new gen did you no no no, i didn't i didn't so that was the only thing so i could that, do <laughs> those were true true <laughs> feelings and true emotions that were coming yeah, exactly, out exactly exactly that was it. it was literally stuck in the last gen but that did very well first one you did and kotaku wrote about it first video he's done for us and it was uh that was actually quite a successful one yeah i was really <laughs> happy i was really surprised really because it it's 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 something like it's something completely different. It's not what what people would expect, I guess. And I'm I'm just really glad the way uh, the way it turned out. It was it was awesome. That's, well, that's we, why uh, I'm looking yeah. forward to the content that Sonny's going to bring to the table. He's doing better videos than me at the moment, and I'm like, what is this? Like the previews yeah, of some of the stuff. You're still hanging on us. to that documentary, aren't you? <laughs> <Sorry>. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be on your deathbed. Hey, don't no, forget about that documentary. I love now. I just oh uh, no, I'm not going to. No, not going to. No, I can't. <laughs> I'm going to a rant about it again. But yeah, we're uh, yes, we're absolutely stoked to have you on board, mate. Because um, like I say, we've been long time fans, and uh, welcome, welcome to the family. Yes. Welcome. Thanks so much, guys. Well, really. now that we've um, kissed uh, Sonny's bottom, let's move on to the next. Uh, <laughs> let's move on to a bit of our first subject. I think this is probably going to be like a standard thing that we talk about now, like every time we do this, and that's basically just the games that we're playing at the time. Oh but, yeah. Um, I tell you what, uh, Gordy, you start us off. What are you? Uh, what are you playing at the moment? <laughs> I don't know what the answer <laughs> um, is. <laughs> well, with it being the holidays, I haven't really had as much time as I would like in front of um, mm. in front of as many games. Yeah, been playing uh, the same as last week. Little little bit of Minecraft, mostly GTA. Um, <laughs> yeah. This this guy's like clockwork. He only, <laughs> he's only got two discs. <laughs> Isn't this weekend double RP and double money weekend for GTA? I don't it know. It is, it is. Yeah. Oh, it is, yeah, it is, yeah. Well, mate, sod the bastard, guys. I need some cash. But I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Spent like yeah, 500 well grand on an apartment that I haven't even moved into yet. Nice. Yeah, you got to get another 10 cars <laughs> as well, now. I know. I just don't have the, ma- the, the, just ma- the money though. for it. <laughs> yeah, we'll be getting on that. Oh, God. So you're, you're same old, same old, Gordy? Yeah. What are you yeah. doing in Minecraft specifically? Um... Erecting huge penises. That's exactly <laughs> what I've been doing. Giant mammoth cocks. It sounds really stupid, but I wanted to see like how much I could get. Uh, you know, of all the different like ores and stuff, if I just dug straight down like in a really big chunk. And so I I, I went sixteen blocks by sixteen blocks, and I'm just clearing it, going going level by level all the way down. <laughs> uh, it's taken a really long time. To uh, to not- what end? 
To, what do you mean to what end? What's the purpose? To a deeper of, end. <laughs> you start at the ground right? level and you go all the way it's down down as far as you can go to to bedrock. <laughs> he hasn't got a plan. He's to, he's, <laughs> its agenda is dig. You're gonna start a quarry, a quarrying business in Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell all the the cobblestone for um for emerald. <laughs> yeah. I need That's, I need to play Minecraft to understand what's going on here. You really do. I I can't believe you haven't. Like, I'm kind of beginning to think it's 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 on principle now. Like, you actually really want to play, but you've you've held out this long that you're just like oh, I'm just gonna keep going. I do, but I keep hearing that it's just gonna take up all of my time. Like, I all of it. That's what people that are playing it are telling me. They say, so, look, when you sign up, you sign up. It's actually one of those games that is really easy to to put down. Um, it wasn't for me, you know. I mean, oh, like, mate. oh it was the exact opposite. For like, me. it doesn't take forever to start it up. You know, it, you don't you don't put a lot of investment into getting it going. So it's really easy to kind of pause or set aside or whatever, and then come back to. Um, oh, that's cool. But I can definitely say when I was playing for a while, I found myself like in everything else that I was doing, thinking about Minecraft and like what I can do here and what I can do here. And and it, it did get pretty bad. One thing I'm going to say all... is that if I get Minecraft, be careful if you invite me into a world because I'm bringing TNT and I'm bringing <laughs> all sorts of carnage. I'm going to blow up everything. <laughs> That's what you. Oh, Schultz. That's what you and me should do. We should. We should secretly get Minecraft. Obviously, I'm giving the secret away because I'm saying it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You and I will secretly get Minecraft at one point, and we'll invade his world, and we'll blow everything up. We we'll just start being really annoying and just dig away at everything. I'm so on board with it. I'll buy it to do that. <laughs> Mate, I would literally buy it just for that, just so that I could troll. Jenny, you were world. you were about to buy it the other night. I was. I was. Like, yeah, yeah, I, I think was I'm about to buy it. And I was like, yes. Yeah, he's like, yes, another bastard's tried, involved, but I haven't done it yet. Oh, I tried, I done it I tried yet. talking Schultz into it, and he was like, nah, I'm not doing it. I'll no, but get I've it just talked him into it. Time. What I just said there, you and oh, we have to do this, that would be quality. <laughs> be a new what series of videos on its way. What about you, Sonny? What are you playing? Uh, I just picked up my one, I think, two weeks ago, and I got it hooked up like last week. And I got GTA, obviously, so I've been spending a lot of time Standard. in that. And I also picked up uh, Dragon Age. Which is oh nice yeah, yeah it's it's pretty awesome I only played like I think I played half an hour of it but it looked good so far um, yeah right. but was well, that it's literally just GTA nice and just exploring is that the bundle you got you get the GTA bundle no uh, yeah yeah sorry yeah I got the GTA bundle and um, I bought Advanced Warfare with it as well so that's uh, oh yeah. no it's uh, <laughs> it's it's very Call of Duty. And <laughs> it's just mindless shooting. I, I do enjoy that. Just mindless shooting. No, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, yeah, Destiny. That's why I love to... Destiny. It's just mindless shooting. But it's you know, it's. You've been I playing a bit of Destiny series. recently. No, I haven't. I've been playing. Um, uh, what did I? F uh, yeah, because I finished off the Last of Us, like I mentioned last time, and then yeah. I've been playing basically Injustice: Gods Among Us. Like, oh much... yeah, it was a free download, wasn't it? Last yeah. month. It's like the one and only. Uh, like beat em up game that I've actually enjoyed because I hate them. I think they're just so I don't know. I'm really oh, I'm not a fan of them. But yeah, this one I, strangely is very compelling, even though I have no interest. I hate in them because I'm the terrible characters. at them. Like I've just I'm awful at every beat em up I've ever played. Well, this like, one's I different. Do... Like for some reason, because it's not like mindless button mashing. You do have to sort of be quite coherent with it and like actually get a flow going. So when you do that, it actually turns out to be quite good. It's satisfying. But, yeah, the whole thing is just got, like, DC and Marvel comic book characters in it, of which I had no interest at all. I, like, I'd never cared for that kind of stuff. But for some reason, I'm just... Because the, <laughs> the game is filled with really shit puns, and that's what I love about it. <laughs> it's, it's so much fun. It's, it's like he wrote it. <laughs> yeah. Just, like, when they're about to... Oh, I'm just trying to think of a pun now. Oh, it is so bad. But just when they're about to fight and they have to do their little entrance, you know, their little sound. Oh, they come in with a classic cheese. Some of them are yeah. so terrible, but they're great. I love them. It's fantastic. But yeah, I, I do. Need I, to, tried, I think um, after this, I oh, go on. I try. I tried the career mode for a little bit, um, and I just found like I don't know what was going on, but I was looking through the cinematics and like the frame rate's about twelve frames per second. It does slow down a bit. Yeah, it does. Didn't slow know down what was going on there. Um, it looked like it was drawn by a drunk four-year-old, and I just didn't understand like 
what why they'd even tried to weave a story in. It was like, oh, okay, we've just got everyone in the <laughs> yeah, whole that's... Marvel DC that's universe. A... To be fair, not Marvel, sorry. In, so in, in yeah, their defence, like the way that I just, I, the way I think about it is, if the if people like me that are playing it that I have no idea what's going on, don't know nothing about the characters, it's always better. Like if you're going to introduce them to me, throw them all in at once and let me see them all. Like just do like you know, yeah, fair enough. Just fair show enough. them all. And then you'll just, you know, I'll get to see their skills and whatnot. But some of them are terrible. Like Catwoman, she's awful. <laughs> like her skills, she's rubbish at she's fighting. She's got to be in there, though. They so made the that Joker. commitment to the put the whole universe terrible. in. She's got to be there. <laughs> he's got a knife. Joker's got a knife. Yeah, he's got like, a knife and a gun. But it's so, I don't know, it's rubbish with them. And like his special attack is pretty appalling as well. But, you know. You'll see, you'll see at one point when you, uh, when you, when you roll into it. If you roll into yeah, it. Yeah, if I pick you up again, yeah. So what are you rolling yes. on then, Schultz, my boy? Um, I've bit like as you know, I've got, <laughs> I've got like uh, <laughs> I've got PS4, Xbox One, and Wii U, and I've barely played uh, anything but my Wii U recently. Oh, um, really? really? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't expect you to Super say Smash that. Super Smash came out. Oh. I don't know if you heard. <laughs> oh, and I've been, um, oh, oh, just oh, oh. between Super Smash Brothers, Mario Kart Eight, like that's all I can think of day to day, like. I'm just going to work thinking, oh, I need to actually work on that corner with Luigi next time I log on. Like, <laughs> like every time. Oh, I'm mate. Just, mate. It's amazing. Dude, Mario Kart, man. If you oh. guys haven't played Mario Kart 8, it's, it actually just won uh, Game of the Year on, I can't remember what website it was, maybe CBG or no VG247, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It is one of the best games I've ever played in all my, all my life. It's I just have to like, say, I've not heard anyone say a bad word about it. Like it's I watched incredible. it. Like I watched someone play it. I didn't get the chance to play it, but it it looked pretty pretty crazy. Like a lot of uh, a lot of tracks that I recognized, and then they like went up a wall or like yeah. Oh yeah, there's a lot of like playing with gravity in it, which is sort of yeah. a differentiator. But what I love like, about the wheels it, turn in like the Back to the Future cars. What I really what I really enjoyed about it is like a lot of um, like DLC in general just gets a terrible name for itself. Um, but yeah. DLC in Mario Kart is just eight new tracks. It's like a new Mario Kart game. So it's like, it's so worth the couple of dollars or whatever it is to get to play in like Hyrule Castle, you know, oh. and um, seven <laughs> other tracks. It's it's incredible. You can like jump over the Master Sword. It is brilliant. <laughs> um, and like oh, in all the Mario, insane. that's actually my favorite track now because in all the, um, all the other tracks, you pick up coins on the way around. And on the, uh, in Hyrule Castle, you pick up the little gems. It's amazing. It's <laughs> like little touches like that are what Nintendo yeah, is like delaying games to put in, like just because they know it's going to be so good when it comes out. Oh, well, I'm just so I remember back in the days on the on the 64 version of Mario Kart, perfecting my my right shoulder button skidding and left shoulder button skidding when going around those corners. Oh, there was, oh, oh that's so different many... now. On the 64, you used to have to go like left, then right, then left to power slide and get the boost. Yeah, yeah. Now, now it's just however long you power slide for builds up that boost. Boom! They've stepped up the Is game. Is there manual and automatic like there was before, like with the, uh, on the Wii? I don't think so. Not that I know of. Um, Didn't you realize there was an automatic think... and a manual. Didn't realize the last it was one I really advanced. played at length was 64. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. On, oh, yeah. That was, on the to Wii. me, the last great one. Yeah, on, on the Wii, there was manual and automatic, and you could only power slide <laughs> oh, uh, in manual. Um, automatic, you just kind of steered, and it steered for you. Then, uh, yeah, that automatic. sound like the, a game at all. Right? <laughs> uh, manual, you like held the, I don't remember which trigger it was. Uh, I think it was the one on the, well, I don't know. Um, but it, <laughs> He's <laughs> done his story. research. You can't fault <laughs> him for that. <laughs> It's been a long time since I played it. Yeah. Uh, you hold one of the triggers. You sure you, you played it? And it does the. Oh, I'm, I've definitely played it. Uh, it's just been yeah, a long but... time. Yeah, that was the Wii came out ages ago. You don't really think about it. Yeah, I think it, the last it's... time I played it was 2009. Wow, man, I used to rinse up the bowling on Wii Sports. Oh, oh. But I cannot once. recommend enough getting a Wii U, guys. Like it's it's cheap as balls, and it is amazing. The games they've come <laughs> out with recently cheaper are balls incredible. These days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, must yeah, be un- never... must be under three hundred dollars. I'm not sure. Oh, I've never least, tried to pay for be. balls. <laughs> you never had to pay for balls. balls. Oh, and so is that under three hundred a piece or a pair? Um, it depends on the quality of the testicles themselves. Yeah. I think. One like, individual you, ball. You get a discount <laughs> as a pair, obviously. 
Um, <laughs> two for one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, two for one. We're having a sale on balls. They're two for one. Go-go. Buy one, you one half be off. He's like, no, I'll just have the, the one, please. All right, I'll unzip the bag for you, no worries. Crikey, should we move on? <laughs> yeah, we I think we should on. move on. That's probably a good time to move on. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, right, I want to talk about, because you boys just mentioned something that I'd not heard of, like, before we started recording, is um, the fact that Xbox and PlayStation are going to be doing uh, compensation packages for the whole lizard ass that went down. So, uh, do because uh, I know nothing, but do any of you boys know what's 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 going down with that whole that whole mess? Well, Xbox hasn't announced announced anything just yet. So, Ooh. Uh, yeah, I know Oof. PlayStation's giving. They say they're giving five days of PlayStation Plus. Um, what I thought was interesting was the day that it was down. Like I'm sitting here like trying every 15 minutes to get on, and I'm getting really frustrated that I couldn't get online, and then. I get an email saying that the PlayStation Network deducted $9.99 from my account to bill me for my Whoa. PlayStation Plus that wow. I couldn't use. Wow. <laughs> so, like, I paid for my, my subscription that day. I, I haven't done it annually. I should, but I still I still pay monthly, um, and I paid that day. So I'm kind of curious how they're going to give us those, those five free days. I imagine um, it would be a code or something like that that they'll – Send to people. Yeah, probably. But what what I thought was interesting is they. I read the art an article on some website about what like an email they'd sent to subscribers and like the detail of the package. Mm-hmm. I didn't get an email. I didn't get an email from Sony detailing what it was. Well, that's the thing. Like I, if they are gonna compensate, then doing five days is rubbish. Like I don't want five days. I want games. Well, I want no, games. they I want a free game. Yeah, yeah. No, they I did also say like a one-time discount of ten percent on something in the PlayStation Store. Mm. Ugh. Um, Ugh. But not over here enough. in the states, that means nothing because <laughs> yeah. the different one of the biggest differences between Xbox Live and PlayStation Network. I don't pay tax on Xbox Live when I make purchases. So, like, if something's oh, really? listed at twenty dollars, I buy it. It's twenty dollars. If I buy something on PSN, it co- that's twenty dollars. It's going to cost me like twenty one ninety something. Mm. Really? Yeah. Oh, that they might, add that tax must on. be. That's an American thing. That's got to be an American thing. Oh uh, that... yeah, no doubt. But yeah, why? Well, why is Xbox Live not charging that. me that? I don't know. If, uh, that might be regional. I don't know that I've paid tax on online purchases. Well, it was very very recent that. It, started happening to me um and that was like i i wanted to play game of thrones like the new telltale game right oh yeah. yes and i was thinking i'd do get a ps4 xbox one i went on ps4 to buy it and it was uh it had like the tax that would added on i was thinking i don't pay that on xbox live so sure enough fired up my xbox one and it was cheaper so mm, me. what i don't Fair understand enough. why why are they doing that i don't know that sounds hmm. like really weird to me but yeah, like I don't know if that's imposed on Sony like, or whatever it is, but yeah, yeah it's strange. That is well strange. That's making me. I, I swear, I looked at the the PlayStation Network like marketplace as it were earlier, and it. I think it must just be an American thing because I've never seen like any. Yeah, tax it, on games well, they they incorp- they don't in- often incorporate tax over here into things. <clears throat> um, it's usually an add-on. But yeah. going back to what we were saying, this ten percent discount off of. Uh, like a one-time purchase that yeah. is like a part of the compensation package. That's that like the tax is about nine percent here in New York. Yeah. So wow. like that's the same. I'm 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 paying like a couple of cents less than I would on Xbox for paying full <laughs> price. So that's, what does that ten percent discount really mean? Well, that's the thing. Like I don't. Yeah, it's that's such a oh, that's really poor. It's a poor effort. But, but then we have to, effort. I suppose, think about whether they do even owe us anything, right? Is it their fault? Yeah. Like, is it their fault they were attacked? Yeah, I mean, in all honesty, I'm not that bothered because it didn't really, like, hinder me that much. Because, I mean, it does suck, don't get me wrong, but I spent most of my time drinking loads of alcohol and being, like, (laughs) you know, throughout the Christmas period. So I maybe tried to get on PlayStation maybe, like, once or twice, maybe three times, but then I just ended up playing, like, offline games, you know, like Little Big Planet and The Last of Us, and it didn't really bother me that much. So I was like, all right. Uh, Fair enough. So, yeah. I mean, if they do want to give me something, then, yeah, that's cool. But, um, you know, if, if they are uh, giving away five free days, then all right, fair enough. So there's happy customers and unhappy customers then. That's oh, fair. Yeah. That'll yeah. always be the way. That will always but be yeah. the way. For me, I, that was when GTA had the snow, right? 
Yeah. So uh, there's oh, me yeah, and Gordy. True. Me and Gordy texting each other every 15 minutes. <laughs> 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 Have you got a line? I can't get a line. We need the snow. It's going to disappear. It's going to melt. You, you and then, um, for the yeah, snow. obviously, good guy Rockstar brought the snow back for a couple of days. So that was all right. Yeah. No, no, that was, yeah, that was banging when, when they announced that they were going to, you know, bring it back for a few days. It was like, yes, power to the people. Do you guys think that Microsoft will do anything at all? Well, they, well, they weren't down really. for as long, were they? Well, I, I well, couldn't log on for ages. For? I couldn't uh, log on the entire Christmas Eve, really. Yeah, but Sonny, let me explain to you. On PlayStation 4, we were like <laughs> we three had, days. Really? Like no three Christmas days day. get on. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah Christmas was Day wild. was down. The day after Christmas was down. And then I think the 27th, we finally got on. Maybe the evening of the 26th. I um, got on and then get kicked off again. Yeah, we could get on the service, but couldn't like we couldn't get on GTA online. It, wow. Yeah, it was, so, and you know that's PlayStation specific. You know it. It's just insane. A, a, a little group of people like that. With, does anybody even know their motivation behind this all? It's just like we're gonna just. Oh man, I've read a, I've read an article. I've read an article about this. Um, so basically, like the two, I don't even know how many there were. There wasn't that many, but um, they basically at the start of the article, in inverted commas, they said that they did it for the lulls. Like lulls spell L U L Z. And I was just like, oh, Jesus right Christ. Button. Yeah. So basically, one guy was like, who was a proper, you know, oh, he wanted to bring the system down. Like, fight the man, bruh. Like, oh, bruh, they're trying to bring you down, bruh. <laughs> it seemed like one of these guys. And um, and he was saying like, oh, he was like fed up with the fact that people are paying like 40 pounds or I think it's what, like 60, 70 dollars a year. All that kind of stuff. And uh, he basically just wanted to show how weak the security systems were for both services. And to be like, oh, yeah, you're paying all this money. And look how easily we brought this down. You know, they were just doing that. And then some of the other guys that were involved with them, like, then they don't even claim to be real big time hackers. They just learned these skills because they were sick and tired of going out to clubs every night with their friends. So they were, they were just like, right, okay, we'll just stay home. And then we'll learn these sort of basic hacking skills. Oh, let's see what we do can do with them. And then they just decided to hack into Xbox Live and PSN. And like they weren't even that bothered about it. They were just like, oh, yeah, we, look what we've done. Just, 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 you know, just loving it. Just, oh, you sure you're not that. one of them? I think they were more they, they were more bewildered more, rather than they had a motive. They just thought, oh, well, let's give it a try. There's a button there, Barry. Let's give it a push. And, and then it worked. And they went, oh, God, okay. Just not expecting it. But, yeah. It's, um, some men, some men just want to watch the world burn, eh? Yeah, some men do, but yeah, they just. I think another thing that they stated was that they wanted fa- like kids and parents and whatever to spend time with their families rather than playing consoles. And I was like, man, oh, fuck that. I'll play. <laughs> like, I'll drink alcohol. Yeah. And play my and they wanted. <laughs> oh, good. They wanted people to go outside. Like, <laughs> this is winter. Well, for half of the world, for half the world, it's winter. Yeah. Um, I don't know about everyone else, but. It's cold outside where I'm at. Yeah, that's why. Mate, I, the, that's why I'm inside playing video games. The PlayStation games. and the TV <laughs> act as radiators, and I need that warmth. I need that heat. Yeah, I need to hug. I need to hug my Xbox brick, my power brick, <laughs> just to keep myself warm. Put it down my pants or oh, warm up the balls. Oh man. Yeah, but yeah, right. that's you know that's that whole bullshit about that really. Right, so we move on to something else, chaps. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Mm. So what have we got next then? Yes. Oh, yes, the Q&A. I th- we should have a jingle for this. If there's Q&A, like, I, should, I really wish I had like a DJ, a radio DJ sound desk like with all those mental sound effects. <laughs> it's Q- Q- Q&A, bitches. Yeah. Oh, they'll do. <laughs> they'll sound do. like you've got a stutter. <laughs> it's Q- 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 Q&A. <laughs> Q&A. Oh, that's pretty oh, good. Oh, what's this? <laughs> what's what that? this? <laughs> oh, that's right. genius! What kind of questions have we had thrown our way? This I don't week? know. I, I should have written them down, but I didn't. I, I, got, them, I got them written down. A, we got a level of organization um, for me. Let's pick a couple out, Gordy, and let's uh, let's go at them. Let's see. We got one from. I'm probably gonna butcher the pronunciations of these usernames, but uh, oh, mate, it's better you than Nun- me. We got one from Nunkus Ending. Uh, says if you could remake a game, what would you change in it? I'm guessing that means like what game and what would you change in it? Okay, interesting. Right. I think for me, uh, I don't know. It actually already happened. That's part of the, one of the things I was really the most excited about. Um, ever since GTA went third person, I've been saying first like, person. No, third person. Oh, 
Like yeah, GTA like, three. Yeah, oh, when Grand Theft Auto three came out, like down, down, yeah, down, yeah down, ever okay. since they went third person, I've been saying this needs to be a first person shooter. And thinking about how much more awesome yeah. it would be if you could take like the first person shooter aspects and put it in open world. And it mm. finally happened. Mm. Yeah. We're talking oh yeah. We're talking uh easily fifteen years later, it finally happened. <laughs> yeah. That's why I bought it twice. That's why I bought it again on New Gen. Because yeah. when they announced first person, I was like, Yeah, that's what I've been waiting for. There it is. <laughs> Let's do it. Yep. <laughs> that's such fair. a big difference. We've all got we've all done it, haven't we? We've all got new uh new gen GTA now. Yeah. 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 But unfortunately so Sonny is the odd one out. <laughs> yeah, Sonny on the Xbox One. Do you play in first person a lot, Sonny, or is that not a big draw for you? No, I do, I do, I do. I I just love the driving in it as well, like first person. It's just, yeah. It just looks it's, it's just insane. If you go up close to things in, in first person, how much detail it actually has the game. It's 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 amazing. Yeah. It's really amazing. You can tell they've worked hard on it. Yeah, yeah. They and they, they had to. They, had the to. they actually stated that. They had to rework like everything from ground up just to make it first person. Just because you know people will be watching and will be looking at stuff up real close. So it's uh, I, I can understand why they haven't put out that first person mode before. They just didn't have the technology for it back in the days. And the, the system, the power of the system just don't allow it, I guess. I think um, we'll go with that. If there was something I was going to change... In Grand Theft Auto now, it'd probably be um, the ability to crouch or like go prone, kind of uh, yeah, maybe maybe be, sit yeah. down on on more than just like the couch in your apartment and at the barbershop. Yeah, you can sit on the couch in the barbershop. Yeah, yeah Sonny's got it. Yeah, that's true. I'm, I'm <laughs> sat on that same couch. <laughs> I'll tell you what though, if there was one thing that I could change about GTA Five, it would be able to go up to fucking land animals without scaring them off. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like I've been trying so hard to make a new documentary and I can't do it because the animals are a right pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, you got you got to creep up on them and then you yeah, got to zoom in really far. <clears throat> Sneaky. Oh, yeah. It's mental. But I think I'll tell you what, if there was a game that I could change, it would be The Evil Within and to like explain the story in a much better way. <laughs> oh, really? Like, the end not of the game, I was like, okay, right, I'm going to finally learn how this, how all of this happens. And I'm still confused. I have no idea what's going on. I literally just have no idea. It's, it's like I want this... you to go back and play it again, knowing what you know from the first playthrough, <clears throat> you'll probably pick up stuff, I don't know, that you didn't yeah, see Yeah, I mean, I did, um, I did start the game again, and I, uh, I did it on this um, Akuma difficulty, I think it is. And uh, basically, yeah. it's a one-hit kill. So if you get touched, you're you're dead. And you saw how brutal that game is from like <laughs> yeah. a bit of my let's plays. If oh, I get yeah. touched, oh, I'm, that's it. I'm doomed. I'm absolutely doomed. <laughs> that's interesting. But- I think if I had to pick a game uh, to remake and what change, I'd, I'd I'd do Watch Dogs. I'd make it fucking oh. good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <That's> it. <laughs> <laughs> you'd Wait, actually you'd have live up that. to the hype wouldn't you you'd want it to be like as good as people said it was going to be I do I feel respect like it was you on almost that yeah I'm with game. you on that I think it was almost good um, I think it was decent game in the end but I just feel like too repetitive story like this, if the story had been something else I would have loved it yeah. um, like yeah. the gameplay's good it looks great like this just there was no story there that really grabbed me at all um, yeah. and that's something that you could fix with something like DLC you could bring out a second story like a different campaign or something it's still boring yeah, um, yeah. I mean I, I, how many people do you reckon would actually download it and play it like because I mean lot, what sorts was such a letdown I just don't know it'd be like well actually, the I game, was going to say Destiny like the gameplay but... in the world itself is all it's all interesting enough like yeah. there's enough there the mechanics work like it looks good it just was quite boring. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I do still want to play at some point, but I swear last time I checked, like it's been sold for like 20, 25 quid, which is nothing. So it may potentially have to go into the, it's, into the want it's list. It's worth picking up. It, like, it's not a bad game. It's a decent game. It's yeah. just obviously with the hype, you have to deliver. And I, I don't think they did. Yeah. I still need to fit. I need, I still need to start Alien Isolation though. Oh, looking forward to that. Ooh, that is a <laughs> creepy game. That, oh, oh my God. Love it, mate. Uh, well good. I I would I would go for Skyrim in all fairness. I would change something up in Skyrim. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm a, oh, I'm a massive Elder Scrolls and... fan. So and Skyrim. Oh, was... I'm interested in this. 
I okay. I I would love a co-op mode in Skyrim, just like free. Oh and yes, right. Oh, no, this is why we brought him on, people. <laughs> this is why we brought him on. <laughs> that is such a good point. That is such a good point. Yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah, just I, I'd still be playing. I, I'm still playing Skyrim up until this point. But if it, if it had a co-op mode, my God, I would never stop oh, playing. It. I, I would never. Would I'll tell you what. If if they ever do bring out a co-op mode, Sonny, me and you, right? Yes. Me and you are doing that campaign together. Oh, yes. oh you go. Oh, yes. One more. All side quest, everything. Yeah, oh, I'll, I'll take I will take three weeks off work. <laughs> <laughs> I'll quit my quit my job. Right, we sit there. More than that. We'll get it you done. You want to go cave so, dwelling in all sorts. If that ends up, you know, anything like this last week, you're going to take that time off work, and then the network's going to go down for a month again. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm not going to get uh, it on PS4. I, sorry, I, I don't mean to bring that back up. <laughs> That's fair. That's a fair point. I'll get it on Xbox. I'll be all right. But what about um, things like um, oh, the Elder Scrolls Online? Wasn't that supposed to be some kind of like, you know, Elder's- apparently it was a load of ass. But um, yeah, it, it wasn't that supposed to be some kind of like online co-op thing. I don't know. It, 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 yeah, it is. About it. It is, but I think it's going to lean way much. Uh, it's going to lean towards the MMORPG genre more. Ah, so, and that's yeah. going to suck, really. I, I don't know. It's it's good to walk around in that world, but not with like a billion people jumping on roofs and stuff. You know that classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sort of classic <laughs> stuff. It's you. You can't yeah, rely yeah. on everyone else in the community to play ball. Like, but when it's co-op with two, just a few of your mates, then oh, yeah, you can sort right. of really feel immersed in it. I think. I think that's a difference. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure. All right, right what other questions uh, have we next... been asked? Yeah, all right. Yeah, what's um, the next question? There's one from Thorn70. says, what the hell's up with holes and Swiss cheese? <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, is this gaming related? I mean, no. uh, don't get me wrong, Swiss cheese, no. brilliant. Love Swiss cheese. Couldn't, the few better cheeses. <laughs> but... <laughs> why you love it? Uh, do well, I know why I love it? I, I do love most cheeses. Is it um, the holes? All about that cheese. I think it might be the holes. The holes might the be flavor? the best part of Swiss cheese, which is why I'm enjoying not eating any right now. But how do those holes get there, though? That's uh, that's what we need to ponder. Uh, do we have an answer for this? Well, we've got theories, I'm sure, but I don't know if we've got legitimate answers. I'm sure we've got theories. Like, for What's example, your I think theory? Someone just decided What's your theory, to Cheney? What's your theory, someone, Cheney? Someone just decided to get a bit too randy, and they just thought, oh, that cheese looks a bit soft. I'll get, oh, I'll get involved, mate. <laughs> oh, God. I, I don't think that's the answer he was looking for. I bet, I bet you're no, going to say that's where the flavor comes from, too, right? Mm. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. <laughs> so, so, actually, um, those holes are called eyes, and... Uh, Oh, yeah, they do make Swiss cheese. <laughs> they do make Swiss cheese without the holes, without the eyes, and they they call it blind. Go figure, right? Mm-hmm. Um, there's wow. there's three different bacteria used to make it. Uh, the first two, I, I don't even think I could pronounce them correctly if I tried. Uh, so we'll just say the first two they uh, create lactic acids, um, and then the third one kind of comes in afterwards and eats up those lactic acids, and and as, as a result, it creates acetate. Uh, propionic acid and carbon dioxide. The holes are carbon dioxide bubbles. Um, and then the acetate and the propionic acid are what gives it the the sweet nutty flavor. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All right. Oh, sir, yeah. sir, I have a question, sir. <laughs> sir, sir, today. sir. Oh, t- oh, t- oh, science teacher. <laughs> now that's awesome. Fair play. I, I guy, never never. You've got to quote your source. You've cheese. got to quote. You can't know this oh, off the top of your head. Well. That's incredible My, if you do. I got that straight off of Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> I just Googled Swiss cheese. Hey, yeah, that's enough, the main enough. reason you should listen to the Bastard Cast, because we will read Wikipedia to you. <laughs> we will Google it for you. Oh, yeah. Can't be bothered to do it yourself. We will no. do it for you. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, well, good. All right, what's, uh, what's the next question? What... Solid answer, though. We'll have to give Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, mine was a <laughs> little, bit, um, little bit extravagant. Don't say Gordy but, doesn't um, deliver. <laughs> the uh the next one's from james akima 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 um and uh he wants to ask how we met and how it all turned into 8-bit bastard okay interesting so i'll let uh oh. i'll let cheney we or, got, or um, schultz start right. this one right you and me schultz we need to uh we need to set the record we need to start lay it at the down beginning for the people this is start at the beginning started. all right so basically um my brother and Schultz have known each other since they were about, what, three? 
about maybe a little then, bit. Yeah. yeah, about three years old. And at this point, I wasn't even born. So they, they, their friendship is strong. But those were the good times. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just because uh, those two were like, you know, childhood mates, I obviously, you know, got involved. And uh, yeah, I mean, now I think about it, we've known each other for a long bloody time, mate. In Almost a quarter even... of a century. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. insane. But um, yeah, so basically, we've known each other all that time, went to school, all that stuff together. And then like, I cut to the chase, got about maybe a year and a bit ago, I think. Um, I just thought to myself, right, I'll just start making YouTube videos just because I thought, yeah, I, I could give it a go, see what, see what happens. Um, and Schultz was loving, probably my only subscriber at the time, was loving the videos that I was making. <laughs> Constantly coming on them going, oh, mate, this is amazing. Of me yeah. just, you know, messing around with, you know, indie games on Xbox Live. And uh, yeah, so he just got kind of interested in it. And then we started chatting to each other about potentially creating oh yeah because we got involved in gta shenanigans that was like the first thing we did that i got yeah. you involved in and then you just sort of after maybe doing about one or two of those videos you sort of piped up and went oh i'll give this a go as well and then you got a recording device and then yeah. we just started doing little, little bits and pieces and then we thought oh let's just do a channel together well we couldn't be called you were called uh Chaney's channel or the Chaney. Oh, got, yeah, like, the Chaney the is what I was called. I was like, yeah. we need something that is uh, more than that. I'll Let's... actually, I'll put a link. Cause... We'll put a link in the description, and you can see like what the f- <laughs> what I used to be like back in the day. <laughs> so back in the day, it was only a year ago. And so. from then, anyway, from then on, yeah, we became Eight uh, Bit Bastard, which is sort of people think it's one entity, but well, I suppose it is one entity. But it's the, it was the two of us doing mm. that together, um, and we made our first video, which was the Skyfall recreation. Um, oh God, yeah. Yeah, oh, a yeah, long time yeah, ago. That's, about nine I months ago. I remember that. that, you guys. Yeah, so, yeah that's old school. Then we, we joined the Grand Theft Auto Adventures crew on Reddit, which is where we met Gordy, who said, oh, I love your videos. You guys should make Weasel News episodes. Yeah. And we were that's like, that's it, an yeah. amazing idea. Do you want to just be <laughs> yeah, a part of it? And... Yeah, I was just expecting, like, yeah, we'll we'll do that and, like, maybe, like, see my name in, in the, the description or the credits or something. And then, like, you guys had me come in on this chat and like start talking about it and writing up everything and then being part of filming and yeah and then i just you were a bastard got, by then i got really interested <laughs> in it too but i didn't have any way to like record or anything so i was like just my character and like some voice work on a really crappy mic that i had uh going straight into the back of my computer um and then i just kind of started yeah looking into it got got the capture device got the uh you know, the recording and the editing software, got the interface, got the nicer microphones, like all that stuff. And uh, that's kind of And now you're making videos on your own volition that are doing just, you know, doing pretty very bloody successful well, videos. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah so we're obviously a great acquisition for us. A good signing. Yeah. Good draft. <laughs> so, yep. so then and then the new chapter. So it was a trio for a little while. Things were going, things were going well. And then we thought, right, we need more bastards. We need, we need, <laughs> this family's not big enough. We need another. We need another bastard in here. So that's when we started discussing about bringing on the mighty Sonny. Yeah, uh, we had done like collaborations. We had done like the music oh, yeah, video we'd collaborations done, with yeah, us. And, and, and fun, actually, yeah. the first music video collaboration was like the first piece that I did on my own. And that was the Justin Timberlake um, video. Oh yeah, which yeah was that was brilliant. the first thing I ever edited, brilliant. like completely by myself. <laughs> You know, and it was what a, a twenty-eight second or thirty-second piece, um, and uh, uh, I was I was excited about that, and then did some of the commercials. But yeah, we'll, we'll get to Sunny there. Yeah, this is that was <laughs> this, uh... is, this is Sunny's show. <laughs> 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 well, t- Sunny is the, p- the part of the new chapter. Now we've we've expanded to four. I think we've that's basically the history from the inception of Eight Bit Bastard yeah. to uh, this literal second. Um, yeah. Yeah. I remember the uh, the yeah. names. I remember the names that we were going over before we came to Eight Bit Bastard. I remember. I want to hear these. I haven't heard these. I remember um, we had the the one that sticks out for me was uh, Master Sistan. Do you remember that when oh, we were talking yeah, about because yeah. we wanted Wait. to base it on a like well, Sistan being. I don't know if that's the, in if that's an American term or not. Sistan is like a piece of a toilet. Um, <laughs> okay, it's like yeah. part of the plumbing of a toilet. Yeah. Um, it was awful. We didn't go with it in the end. No, well, it's because it sounded it like strange. Master System. So it sounded well, like Master System, but then we thought our oh, Master System because it's a part of a toilet and the videos were going to be made of pure toilet. So I don't think it's called a Master System in the States. Mm-hmm. No, what's it, it called then? I think it's a Genesis. No, no, that's no. a Mega Drive. That's a Sega no. Mega Drive. 
Master so System was the 8 bit, Genesis was the 16 bit. Yeah. Uh, okay, and then you close right. the flap and you play Alex the Kid. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, had, I had a Master System. I actually had, I might even have it at my mom's house. Oh, my word. I think she's going to have a show and tell now. next time. I might have to go dig through the storage room <laughs> next time I'm there. Oh, that'd be genius if you could bust that out. I had uh, California <clears throat> games. I remember that one. Yep. <laughs> um, genius. Five versus five. <laughs> <laughs> oh mate we could go we could Mary. go on for hours about we could, reminiscing about we might have games. to we might have to make this the topic of another bastard cast yeah we'll make it uh, we'll make that the topic of the next bastard cast the first topic we'll be talking about like 8-bit games just for the shit yeah. habit, why not yeah all right next question then mr time question man <laughs> sir the uh the next question um it's gonna be our final one it comes from clockwork chaos oh and uh John <laughs> Funny we get into this topic. It says, uh, as your namesake is 8-Bit Bastard, will you at any point do any video games from the 8-Bit era, maybe through emulators or, or the like? Hmm. Question. <clears throat> that would be good. I don't know that it's something we've ever really talked about. Uh, it was, to, it to was something fair, we thought not... about early on, wasn't it, yeah. Well, but, we did not... Um, we I don't think we've ever discussed about doing... A, I think the lowest we were going to go to was like 16-Bit when we were going to do like co-op lounges on the Mega Drive. Um, but actual eight bit, yeah, it would be a that would be a pretty old school place to go if we went back to the eight bit ways. We might produce <laughs> I mean, we, a couple of videos. We could I, do, and we should do. Like, um, I reckon we should. I reckon we should. I might be able to find my my master system. Uh, I don't have my NES anymore, but I have access to one mm. if mm. um if we need to use one. And a lot of games. <laughs> uh, I've got I've got two Super Nintendos. Uh, that's kind of. God, that's that's a different story for a different 16? time. I don't, um, I, I don't understand. The yeah, bits. that's that's sixteen. <laughs> that's sixteen. I've got my original one that I bought back when it was like current, and then uh, my now wife, girlfriend at the time, for my birthday, the first year we were dating, she bought me one. Oh, uh, uh, and, and Mario oh, Kart. What a gift! Oh, that's, nice. That, that it, it was like the best gift I've ever gotten. There, there's a pretty, <laughs> there's a pretty good story behind it, but again, different story for a different time. Uh, fair <laughs> <laughs> but no, I reckon um, I reckon we could do uh, some eight videos, uh, eight bit videos. But yeah, would it have to be done through emulators then? I guess that would be the only way to really pull it off. Yeah, unless we definitely. can dig out the old, these old consoles and and mm. but yeah, the console way. I actually have here is I think it's a sixty four. Well, I've got a Dreamcast. Yeah. Same and the oldest era, one that I've got is a Mega Drive. I think yeah, it's like Mega Drive so sixty four. What, what is the Mega Drive? Is that what was Genesis over here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was called okay. the Sega Mega Drive over here, and yeah, Sega Genesis in Got the it. States. So it had like Sonic the Hedgehog. And, oh, oh um... yeah, because that's the thing. I'm a Mega Drive. I was always Sega when I was growing up. I wasn't Nintendo, like so. I was not like the Nes or the Snares or anything like that. I was Mega Drive, and then <laughs> I remember when my local Blockbuster used to hire out consoles. So I used to hire out like a Sega Saturn, and I did a PlayStation when it first came out. Oh my word. <laughs> Like going back that far away, playing Street Fighter on uh, on the Sega Saturn was atrocious. <laughs> Such a bad game. Well, like, if I recall, the load well. times were just like you lost interest. Mm. It took forever to load a game. Oh, playing um the the very first Tekken as well on the PS One. Oh, those was, was classic <laughs> days. And I remember bastards. Twisted Metal. Like to go play tw- Twisted Metal, you'd start up, you know, you set up your race, and then you had to wait like two or three or four minutes. I mean, it was. <laughs> a while when you're a kid that just wants to play video games, you know. Oh yeah, you had to wait a long time for it to load. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the one thing that I hated about the PS One was the fact that when you press the open button, it like flaps open as opposed to like the disc <laughs> coming out. It's so yeah. one of the most dangerous things you could possibly have. It's like, ba-dink, like, oh, you couldn't have it like in a little in a Still little cubby hole. You'd have to pull the bastard out and be like, right, I take this disc out and put that disc in close and bang. Still spinning. Got to play DJ. <laughs> so dangerous. Uh, Parappa the rapper, mate. Oh. Sonny, do you have any old any old systems? Uh, the oldest one I have is a Nintendo sixty four. That's that's oh. that's that's the oldest I have. So I can I can join you in this eight bit or sixteen bit era. In all fairness, <laughs> yeah, sixty four bit's cool. Yeah, no, I, I remember. Wish, <clears throat> I remember with the Nintendo sixty four. <laughs> the Nintendo 64 advertisement on TV claimed it to be the world's most powerful games console. And looking back at, at it now... At the time it was. It was. Yeah, at the time it was. And 
in looking back at it now, it's just like, oh my god, like how far we've <laughs> yeah. advanced. Well, still, if you look at like Super Mario sixty four, how it still looks and what the game actually is, it's just insane. Or yeah. Zelda, for that matter. It's... Oh god, I remember yeah, Pilot Wings. Pilot Wings was the first time. game I played, and I was like, "This is amazing! <laughs> it's like it's in three D." Three D. Or Golden Eye. <laughs> but no, Super like Mario. Yeah. Oh man, mate, I would Golden love. Yet. I would love to do a Cheney plays of like Super Mario sixty four or something. That'd be amazing. I still rate that as one of like my favorite games of all time. You should S- do such that. a fantastic. I've game. actually got the gold sixty four from the uh, Golden oh. Eye bundle. Oh, oh. God. Oh. Stop it <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, got the gold controller. Yeah. I don't play with it because the sticks on the sixty four controllers they uh, they go loose and they wobble. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. you can fix that. Oh, terrible that was. <laughs> they just the fall over in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a I've gold like... golden eye cartridge as well? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. The cartridge isn't gold. Yeah, because I was, swear that was I a thought bundle it... at one point. It, it was only the Zelda uh, cartridges that were gold. Oh, that's right. That's, that's right. what I'm thinking of. Yeah, the Zelda because I remember Majora's Mask and yeah, the Ocarina of Time. They both had gold cartridges. Yeah, yeah that was oh, they did indeed. Oh, I still they never carried that onto the Wii. Mask. They had like a gold Wii mote for the Wii for the Skyward Sword package, all that stuff. No, just okay. So when you throw it in your TV, at least you've hit it with a bit of dignity. My controller's gold, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, dear. is that end of question time? Yeah, I it think is. that's end of question time. I reckon that's the end of it. But um, we've run out of subjects because that was all we had. <laughs> I can't think of anything else. It's to been talk a quiet about. week because there's been no PlayStation Network and there's been no <laughs> yeah, this is true. Yeah, um, there's been no, there's been nothing. Really. Did we talk about videos? Did we talk about videos that we've watched? Oh, yeah, yeah. In fact, yeah. Let's talk. Oh, no, yeah. That was the other subject. I forgot to write it down on my marvellous board. <laughs> but, um, but no, yeah. Let's We can talk about uh, YouTube videos. So, um, yeah. So, does someone want to Does someone wanna take the stand, as it were? Well, um, I got, I got yeah, something. I, can... I got something. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, um, yeah. Well, Sonny. Go on, Sonny. Um, well, it's, you all know Lady Mercedes, right? Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. Of course, she's <clears throat> actually been making videos lately, and they are pretty good. She's uh, she's learning a lot because we both we all did a collaboration at some point with the music video me- remakes, and that yeah. was great fun. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And now she's putting up. Uh, she she put up this video two weeks ago called GDA Musket Wars. It's a uh, it's a montage. Oh, yeah, I enjoyed that. Oh, yeah. the Musket Wars. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I haven't I'll... actually seen it, but I bet it was well annoying. You've been like, bang, just, oh, just fucking missed, oh, missed, <laughs> bang, just, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> it's it's got got this it, mother, hold up, lads, hold up, lads. No, she, she's too talented to miss, mate. <laughs> yeah, she is, she is, and she's, she, she's trying different things, and that's, that's, I find it really impressive. She's queuing up with the music really well in that video, and you can just see her, like, taking ginormous steps forward with editing and stuff, so. It's been nice to see her come out of Twitch, where I don't spend a lot of time, and do mm. more YouTube, where I do spend yeah. a lot of time, and yeah. Yeah, I get yeah, to see more sure. of her content. Lady Mercedes yeah, was actually what... the voice in our Tarantino Rodriguez trailer for El Bastardo. Yeah, um, that's the female voice that leads it in, which she nailed. And then she also did the uh, El Bastardo, which was uh, <laughs> which was my personal <laughs> highlight of that trailer. Oh, quality! <laughs> so we got to give her a shout out for that. No, definitely. Yeah, that's that's jokes. I do need to check out more of her videos, but I've been quite busy making my own and also playing Injustice. So I <laughs> just have done. <laughs> You like it in your little cocoon, don't you? Oh yeah, no, it's all good. That's that's me sorted, mate. But I tell you what, I've been um, I've recently become well addicted, right, to this guy called Ashens. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. Basically, he's this really witty um Englishman that uh does like unboxings and reviews like pound shop or ninety nine cent store tat like really bollock <laughs> stuff and he just he, he like he reviews it in such an awesome way because his wit is just so funny and like he'll do um he'll do like not so much food challenges but he'll buy like really cheap food or people will in fact send him um some food so like he'll get um like all these trinkets and like really rare um you know delicacies from china and japan and things like that and he just sits there and, like, and he eats it. But the, oh, it's really so good. I've been tempted to send him some stuff because he's got a P.O. Box address on his website. And I've got like these out That's of date. That's dangerous. I've got these out of date. Um, <laughs> what, what, oh, yeah, I've got these out of date uh, Japanese Kit Kats. 
and I was well tempted to send them to him to see if he would eat them. Because he does uh, like hang on, hang on, hang on. Back up, back up. How have you come across out of date Japanese Kit Kats? <laughs> Found them in a. I know bin. you've never been to Japan. <laughs> no, no, no. I had um, I had a well good mate of mine um, go to Japan mm. not that long ago. I think it was last New Year's. I think it was, and they came back with like you know loads of bits and pieces. And I said to myself, yeah, I was going to eat them, but then I didn't actually eat them, so they just went off and they're on my shelf, like just collecting dust, basically. <laughs> So I've got some uh, Japanese in. Red Bull. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. Fair. You know, that, it that. comes in a glass bottle and it's not carbonated. It's oh. weird. What? No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, thick liqueur. Gross. Heavy in sugar. Nope. But yeah, Ashen's yeah, is I, like... I had a sip of one and the other one's on my shelf. Yeah. He is a jo- he's awesome. Like, I've taken a lot of like inspiration from him in terms of doing like unboxing videos and stuff. So I'm going to yeah. check that guy out. Proper, proper enjoying him at the moment. My God, and then shots, my boy. What have you been uh, watching recently, if at all? Um, I'll tell you what I've been watching very recently. Actually, What's the that? three of us, me, Gordy, <laughs> and Sonny, while we're waiting for you to come online because you're always late, we actually saw that Commander <laughs> Fly just put up a new video. Um, and I know I was talking about him last week, but like he put this video up. It was like um, like the moments that you don't see in superhero movies. And it was absolutely <laughs> hilarious. This is his follow-up to his movie trailer, obviously. Oh, yeah. It's a comedy movie trailer that, that went viral the other week. It's amazing. It's, it's just like <laughs> the little bits and pieces that aren't on camera when the heroes come in to save the day. You've got to watch it. I think his name's Pigman, the character he's used. <laughs> um, Pigman. Whatever you guys remember, it was it was brilliant. But like, everything this guy's putting out is just absolutely fantastic. It's um, awesome. Like you, you're, got... you're gonna have to put a link in the description because I'll forget. Oh, like, absolutely, <laughs> definitely will, definitely will. Yeah, definitely. Like that sounds pretty jokes. So, Gordy, who have you been eyeballing in YouTube land? <laughs> so, uh, so some of the videos that I've actually been enjoying for a little while now. Um, they're not gaming related, but it's a guy named Peter Brown, and he's got this wood shop, but he makes things that like aren't what you would expect to come out of a wood shop. Um, they're made of plastic. He, Sometimes <laughs> he he seems to favor he seems to favor the lathe, right? Uh, the first thing that I saw, he like glued, yeah, he glued a bunch of colored pencils together and then like used that as the blank and made a ring out of colored pencils. That video actually went viral and was going on a couple different like clickbait sites and stuff. Blimey, uh, people took pictures from it, and yeah, um, it, it it's really cool. He did one where he took a bunch of um old telephone wire, like from like the 66 block, like the big individual strands. He put like pushed them all into this into this clump and then filled it with epoxy. And then he used that that hardened epoxy and he made a bracelet out of this stuff on the lathe. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's done a bunch wow. of really like really cool, really interesting stuff. Mm. Been using uh what's it called? HDPE high high density polyethylene. Uh like like old milk curtains and stuff and and coffee like the plastic coffee jugs. Oh yeah. Melting yeah. them down. Melting them down and making like a shot glass, like melting them down into a block and then making a shot glass on the lathe. Uh, he took, he took a bunch of cardboard beer coasters and put them, sandwiched them between pieces of wood, glued them all together, and then made a beer mug out of it. Oh, <laughs> mate. A beer oh, there's, mug. There's, there's a lot of really cool stuff. And he was sh- <laughs> for for Thanksgiving. He used a um, he took a spoon and flattened it out and then put it in his drill press. And he was like making whipped cream. <laughs> in his shop I tell That's you what quality. that kind of that reminds me of this um of this guy this Russian guy I can't remember his name but he has like he comes up with these genius like ideas on how to do things really quickly like for example oh, yeah. he does the guy that little... peeled the potatoes with the toilet yeah, yeah, yeah you see that yeah, oh yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. good it's, it's awesome. I loved that oh, it was amazing so hang he just on gets... I missed this <laughs> shitty oh, no, potatoes oh, what's going on oh, here? mate basically this guy he's a he is a genius like he literally is but he basically he gets a drill like a black and decker and then he takes the um handle off of a toilet brush sticks it on the end and then uh he fills uh, a bucket with water and potatoes just sticks it in and just goes at it for about a minute and all the potatoes come out peeled like completely cleanly peeled yeah it does all of yeah. these genius little <laughs> ideas. They're amazing. Like, oh, it's, I really, oh, that's going to annoy me now. I can't remember his name. That's quality. But I just came up, like, I found him one day, and I was just watching his videos. It's so good. It is. Oh, I'm looking him up. Called? I wonder what he could do with a lathe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know many people that own beans. lathes. Some people should own lathes, and some shouldn't. These guys sound like they should. 
<laughs> yeah, definitely. But no, that guy is his quality. His channel's called Crazy Russian Hacker. That's it. Crazy Appro- appropriate. That's yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Oh, I highly recommend that guy. He's such good fun. He's well good. I haven't Dude, seen his other yeah. stuff, but that. Yeah, that, that video just went everywhere. That's how I found out about it because it just it went viral, and then I was like, yeah. "That is possibly one of the best things I've ever seen." I want to watch that now. Yeah, that was quality. <laughs> in fact, let's wrap this bullshit up. I'm yeah, going to watch crazy yeah. Russian bastard. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, let's wrap some, all this up. got some videos to watch now. Yeah, we've got videos to watch. Fuck making videos. We've got to watch some videos. <laughs> all right, then. Yeah, let's uh, let's wrap this up because um, I won't actually want to start playing Alien Isolation, so <laughs> I'm fully down for it. But, um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching, people. Again, if you have more questions for us, we shall do uh, another Q&A like we did this time around. Uh, and, yeah, just anything at all, we don't give a fuck. But it's all good. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, questions, questions, give us feedback. Just about anything. Exactly. Give us feedback on whatever. If there's anything you want us to talk about and whatnot, then just give us feedback. So it's goodbye from me, Cheney, and from Schultz, and Gordy, Woo! and from our new motherfucker, yep. Sonny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The- Peace. Peace.